Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Oh, I'm just doing my usual stuff. <laughs> I made all these yesterday. Hasn't even made a dent in the big basket full of scraps next to me. So I'm just going to do a few more. Um, you've seen tons of people do these. Um, they're basically just little snippets. Uh, some people sort of do them in angles and call them scrappy flowers. These are just snippets. So, and I've just added a little button this time. Often I'll just sew them. But yesterday I decided to put little buttons on them. This is my button box. So, push those aside and go rummaging around in my box next to me and see what I can find. That's nice and bright and cheerful. I haven't used any of that yet. Um, might just chop that up into little pieces. It's not going to be big enough for a bottom piece, but it will certainly be big enough for a mid piece. There's a little bit of lace that's sort of yellow. Cream. Maybe a little bit. Um, what else do we have? Might be good. I've got so much stuff in this scrap box and I can't really find anything I want when I want it. What about some of this? Is this a bit too much? Yeah, I think it might be a bit too much. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we'll cut up a couple and see. Oh, if I'm going to make a base out of this, I want a decent sized piece. Like that. Put those aside for something else, I think. Now, I don't have to be squares, but I mean, clearly I've been to squares today. So, squares they are going to be. <laughs> But you can just use the size of fabric you have if you don't want to cut it all into squares. I mean, if I cut it into squares, I would have none of these little scraps, which would probably be better, but yeah. <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Well, at least I'm in frame today, for the moment anyway. So it's Mother's Day here in Australia this weekend. I don't know if it's Mother's Day everywhere else, but I know it is in a few different countries. Um, so I wish you all a very happy Mother's Day for Sunday, if it is Mother's Day in your area. And if it's not, and you're a mother, or even if you're not a mother, I hope you have a very lovely day anyway. Because we all deserve to have a nice day, particularly on a Sunday. Some of the best days of the week, Sunday. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have to say that. <laughs> uh, I think it's something about being on camera. You just say weird stuff. I'm like, I don't know why Sundays would be any better than any other days, but there you have it. A little bit of lace. Well, they're certainly going to be bright. I'm not really sure what I'll put them in, but um, there you have them. There's three very bright little swatches. I'll put a little yellow button on each of those, probably. Let's see if I can find one in my button box that I can't lean over and look in because they'll stick my fat head in the camera. You guys can probably see the yellow buttons. I can't see them. Yep. Right, let's see what we have in here. As you can see, my buttons are all colour coordinated. I like that. Um, I prefer to use buttons on this sort of thing that are flat buttons, not the shanked buttons. Um, they just sit flatter, obviously. 
so I prefer those um, on these sort of things because I don't know where these are going to go so I like to keep them as user friendly as possible oh, there we go there's three little ones there I don't know what I'm going to do with the other two but I'm sure they're going to need a piece of lace so we'll cut that off throw our lace over here out of the way I've got a pile of scraps off to my left here not sure how this will go but let's see a bit of orange for something a bit different well, it's pretty in your face but we'll see what we can do with it got something brown ooh I've got something orange let's see what we can do with this look at that it's nicely orange isn't it I'm going to cut along here because there's a strip of glue that I don't really want. These are brand new pinking shears. I have some old pinking shears that used to belong to my grandmother and um, they're just, they're stiff and they're a bit blunt and do you think I can find anybody who'll sharpen pinking shears? But I can't throw them out because they were my grandmother's so I have an old pair of pinking shears and a brand new pair. Well, I'm not in love with that to be honest. I'm really not. Um, I will however cut this into little squares because I believe I may just dispense with the yellow and find something that's maybe chocolate brown or something to put on the back. Because I think that would make me happy. <laughs> was finding something chocolate brown finding anything to be honest is a bit of an ask in here there's a lot but unfortunately it's all sorts of rubbish you wouldn't believe it if I showed it to you Ugh. well that's not chocolate brown but it's sort of tangy it actually might work it's a collar from a shirt because of course you can't throw that away Oish. <laughs> sometimes I wonder about myself in fact a lot of the times I wonder about myself let's just hack into it it's not like we were keeping it for anything in specific anyway I don't really want it to be so thick, so I'll just cut the whole seam off of it and just use it as a chunk. <sighs> See if that'll do the job. I like it. Would have been better if it was a little bigger, but I'm not going to get much bigger out of that. Let's see if I can find anything else. Probably as much as I'm going to get. Maybe I can't find anything chocolate brown. I've got a piece of this. This might be cool. That's a bit magical, isn't it? How's that? That's an old placemat. Well, that's certainly strong. It's certainly going to get your attention. I've actually got 
many more pieces of all of that, so let's make some more. I like those. Alright, one, two, three, four, we can make four more. Let's have at it. Use this side. It's even got nice little sparklies on it, but we won't use the little sparkly bits for now. I just want the, the edging. Sparklies can wait for some other job. Just a little bit in there. Don't need. One, two, three, and four. You see all those? Yep. Now where did that shirt collar go? I threw it on the floor. <laughs> I didn't really throw it on the floor. I tried to throw it in my basket, but it hit the floor instead. The floor's a bigger target. What can I say? Hmm. I'm trying to work out how to get a decent sized piece of this out of a collar. It's always a bit interesting. So all right, we'll just off center it with everything else. I'm busy cutting up fabric, I'm not talking. <laughs> kind of negates the whole purpose of doing a video. Um, else I could just show you photographs of things. Um, I don't really have a lot to talk about, to be honest. <laughs> I've done nothing but just make these and work. So there's not an enormous amount to chit chat about. Um, let me think, let me think. No, I can't think of anything, to be honest. Nothing happening in my life. Which is just the way I like it, frankly. So, I've had too much excitement over the last few years. I need to settle down. <laughs> yeah. I went to an art gallery opening the other day young people in our area which was interesting and some amazing artwork several pieces of which I wouldn't have minded owning myself but oh you just cannot have you know <laughs> there's only so many places you can hang things in your house <laughs> and I am of the ilk that scribbles on my own walls and does my own artwork everywhere so um, it's a bit difficult to fit pieces of other people's art around it so Everything in my house that can be covered is pretty much covered now. Um, yeah, so I don't tend to buy things at art shows, but I'm always tempted. So I did that. Uh, what else did I do? I went out to dinner one night with my daughter, which was very nice. I actually wasn't feeling the best, so I didn't eat a lot, but we had a very nice evening anyway. Um, a bit of a chit chat catch up and so that was pretty cool I did that um, what else have I done this week not an enormous amount just my usual chores and whatnot. nothing to write home about that's for sure certainly nothing that's newsworthy but that's okay I'm happy not to do newsworthy worthy things I don't think I want 
yellow on there. I think I want a different colour on there. What colour do we want on there, guys? Any suggestions? Maybe brown? What do you reckon? Oh, I would like... I'd love some gold, but I don't have very many buttons in the gold that aren't shank buttons. In fact, they pretty much are all shank buttons. There's two I can see in there that are not. I wonder if I can find two more. Trouble is, the two I can see are directly at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I don't want to go digging for them. I actually did use some here somewhere. Yeah, you see, I did find a few um, that were yeah, just those two. I think there might be one more somewhere. Um, buttons that were gold and had just the holes in them. Let's just check out the brown before I go digging in there. Um, because if I go digging in there, I'm going to pour them all out everywhere and that will be a disaster. Actually, I could do it in the lid, I suppose, but let's see how brown looks. Hmm. I don't mind brown, actually. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's a nice brown with it. Let's see if we've got any more sort of that colour. Sort of a rusty brown. Here's an orange one. No, it's not the right orange. That one's kind of nice. It's an orangey sort of brown as well, I don't know. No, it's not. Looks alright though. It's a very light one, but actually it looks good as well. Okay, we're sticking with brown. I don't want to go digging around in the metal buttons. And they look fine. Oh, I missed one. How did I miss one? How does one do that? So right here in front of my face. There's an orangey button. Oh, that's a bit cute. Right. So, anyway, that's it. That's what I do. Um, now I will sew the buttons on and they will be finished and that is all it is not rocket science I'm pretty sure I've done these before I don't think I put buttons on them though <laughs> this is probably the first time I've done the buttons on them but um, yeah I think that's the trouble with videoing a lot of the things you want to do you seem to do all the time so when you're just doing things and you think, oh, I'll pop on the video, it's just going to be another video of the same thing you've already done before. How many times do you guys want me to stick little pieces of fabric together in front of you? I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to do it. Don't get me wrong. It's not because I th it bothers me. It's just because I'm thinking you must be bored out of your minds watching the same thing over and over again. And it's not like... I'm the only person you watch, so, you know, you've seen other people do this too. It's like, how often can you see this video and not find it the dullest thing you've ever seen in your life? I don't know. I mean, it'll be different if I even had anything useful to talk about. Or, you know. Scintillating conversation which is not what you come here for, I really hope. <laughs> because scintillating conversation is not really my thing either. Ugh. I spend too much time alone for my conversation to be scintillating. I think you have to actually have a social life for scintillating conversation. I do not. Um, says the woman who's been to an art gallery opening and a dinner and also a of open arts thing at the school, local private school, this week. But, I mean, yeah. I don't have a social life, okay? I just don't. <laughs> you can't make me. I don't think I've really done anything else. Just looked after my vegetable patches and my birds. I have canaries. 
if I've mentioned my canaries before, you can sometimes hear them in my videos because my craft room is upstairs directly above where their cage is. So they have an aviary outside. I have three canaries and 10 quail. I used to have 11 quail, but unfortunately now I have 10. So, and they lay me copious amounts of eggs during their laying season and I often eat lots and lots of quail eggs just to get rid of them. So I have a friend in Peru. I mentioned I had quail eggs and they said, oh, you must eat your quail eggs with salt and chilies, um, ground chili peppers, or you know, dried chili pepper. And I tell you what, it is one of the best things I've ever eaten. <laughs> I would never have thought to eat eggs with just salt and chili. But yeah, you just boil your little quail eggs up and shell them and then just sit there with a tiny bowl that's got chili flakes and salt in it and dip your eggs in it and just eat them because oh, they're tiny they're like the end of my thumb small <laughs> so um yeah cook up sort of 10 little eggs and just sit and nibble on them for a little snack or something and they are really very very delicious um, with the chili and the salt so I mean, I don't like a lot of salt on things. I do like chilli. I'm a bit of a chilli fan. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't have thought to put it on my eggs. So there you go. Having friends in foreign countries is often a very interesting learning experience. You pick up all sorts of weird little things that you never expected. Why am I having so much trouble with your mutton? <laughs> Like for instance, Australians can't sew. Well, this Australian can't sew. <laughs> I spend all my days sewing. Why is this so difficult? Just because the camera's on. It'd probably be you know, better if I had a bit of long thread as well. That would definitely help. But anyway, you have seen what I do. You've got the guest. You know what it's all about. You've seen all the others. You've seen me do, seen me sew three of these and yeah tell you about my livestock <laughs> i live on a very small block i don't really have any ground space so i have vegetable um, beds like big pots like movable vegetable beds um because i don't have any places in the ground that i can actually plant anything so but I do quite well. Got my basil and my chilies and my tomatoes and capsicums and well, peppers if you're that way inclined. Um, and you live wherever they call them peppers. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, myriads of other things. I'm drowning in beans and carrots at the moment. And rhubarb. Does anybody out there like rhubarb? I really like rhubarb, but I have a very English background. Both my parents were from England and um, obviously my grandparents and whatnot. So I've grown up with very English food over the years. So I very much enjoy rhubarb. Uh, a lot of people don't like it very much. A lot of people can take it or leave it, but I actually really enjoy it. And luckily it grows very, very easily in my area. So I have three big rhubarbs rhubarb plants which keep me in rhubarb all the time and if it's not a good season for the rhubarb I've still got some in the freezer so yeah that's um that's a nice thing about gardening you can growing your own food you can do it even if you don't really have much space I don't I very rarely buy vegetables I've usually got enough in my garden to keep me supplied so that's always nice. Anyway, here I've started sewing another one. I'll probably have just as much trouble with it for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I've sewn, what, three on camera. 
as long as you make sure you're sewing through everything, you know, at least one stitch through everything, um, it'll hang together. And of course, when you put it down, you'll either glue it to a page or whatever you want to do with it. So um, you can secure the, the little layers together a bit more at that point if you wish to. So, but for now, I am happy with what we have achieved here. They are quite cute and I will continue to make more because uh, well, I'm just enjoying making them to be honest. They're quite cute. <laughs> I've got a billion of them, I don't need any more but you know. I'll keep going because you know, when you're enjoying something you might as well just keep at it. Mm. There's plenty of times in life where you've got to do things you don't enjoy. so. When you find yourself doing something you do enjoy, I think it's a good idea to keep going. For as long as you've got time to anyway. <laughs> I suppose everything should be taken in moderation, but yeah. Alright guys, well I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day or a wonderful weekend if it's not Mother's Day where you are. And I will see you again next time. It's been good to chat to you. Thanks very much for coming along. Bye.